Okay, I'm really sorry if you can hear any background noise outside. I've just started filming and someone's just started mowing their grass. So, yeah, that's brilliant. But hello, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very different kind of vibe. Um, it's a very different kind of video to what I usually film. Quite scared, not going to lie. I've sort of put off filming this video because I've sort of been a little bit worried about how people are going to react. But I think it's an important kind of video to make. Um, I just want to do a disclaimer before I start, I'm not filming this video for any sort of like sympathy or anything like that, I am in like a completely different place now to when I was when I talk about this, um, so I wanted to film it when I was you know properly okay, and two, I, I'm not diagnosed with any sort of mental health issues, but I feel that people do get mental health issues in certain situations and this video is going to talk about quite you know really bad mental health so if that thing sort of triggers you then I understand if you don't want to watch this video right, that's completely fine so we'll get that out of the way um so this video is going to be about McFly as the title suggests so I've, I've put on one of my old uh, McFly tour shirts just just for like the, the the vibe of the vid but yeah so it's it's going to be a weird one I haven't scripted it I sort of want to just say thoughts at the top of my head um so yeah We'll see, we'll see how we go. So, everybody knows that McFly are my favourite band. Like, they've been my favourite band since I was nine. They started just before my 10th birthday, back in 2003. And the first sort of memory I have of finding McFly on the TV, or their songs, was I'd got dressed for school. I remember being sat on the sofa, and it was a school morning, and there were, we used to have this channel on. I had no idea what it was, but there was always, like, music videos on. I don't know if it was a kid's show or, or something like that. And the Five Colours in a Hair video came on the TV for the first time. And I remember just sort of sitting there, sort of enjoying the song and saying, oh, Mum, look, there's this new band on TV. And that was the first time that I saw McFly. And that is, like, where my journey with this band starts. It's very sort of, like, rust. I'm very rusty. Very A lot of it's very blurred. I can't really remember a lot of things from like 2003 to like 2007 I don't know why that is I just can't but I feel like I've always been on this journey with the guys like I obviously got the Room on the Third Floor album which was their first album which I do actually now have a signed copy of which I will talk about more <laughs> further on in the video so that was like my first time seeing McFly and then it sort of just evolved from there so I think the first tour that I went on 2008 yeah November 2008 I went to see the Radioactive tour, which was my first McFly tour, like I'd missed out on a lot of McFly tours just because like when I was in school I couldn't pay for my own ticket and you know my family can't pay for every single McFly tour. So I have only done three McFly tours in my whole time of being a fan, which is quite, you know, disappointing but it doesn't mean I'm any less of a fan than other people. So I went to the Radioactive tour with one of my friends who lived on the same street as me at the time who was also like a big fan and I remember getting ninth row from the front which for, the, for that it was really good back then like to get ninth row uh, and I remember thinking oh we're going to be quite far back and then we got there and we were surprised at how close we were and it was great it was such a great tour that's still one of my favourite tours um, that I've been to by them I mean like I said I've not been to many but not including the McBusted tours either, like just McFly on their own, I've been to three. So yeah, that was great. I remember just, it was my first McFly tour, so it was very exciting, very surreal, and I just wanted to go to all of their tours that they did. So that was like the radio, the radioactive era is like my favourite time, like it's my one of my favourite albums by them. I think it's one, it's probably in my top two albums. So seeing that particular tour was, was great for me. Did anyone else get the little like radioactive CD in the paper? I remember getting the radioactive CD in the paper and then getting like the proper like deluxe thick version when it properly came out and then getting rid of the other radioactive uh, one in the paper. Let me know because uh, I found that um, as a memory as well. Walking to the shop and picking up the paper just because it had McFly's uh, sample album in. So after that I went to the the above the noise tour i think which is what this is from 
and I remember going with a friend from college to that tour like they'd not really listened to McFly but I couldn't find anyone else that uh, was going that would that wanted to go like my mum and dad had got me second row for this tour so I was like I need to find somebody to to share this experience with and she actually really liked it and said it was a really great time and I feel like even if you're not a McFly fan you still enjoy the tours and the live shows just because they're such great guys the atmospheres are amazing like they interact with the audience and it's just it's just a great time to sort of get away and for me being in school and not being like one of the popular kids and being picked on all the time having a band that you could rely on and listen to and take your thoughts away and just be like yeah I've got this band to get me through the hard times really helped because when I was in school it wasn't a great time and I remember sort of listening to McFly walking to school walking home like in the evenings and just yeah just sort of getting away from that and I remember like songs like Not Alone and Walk in the Sun and Bubble Rap were songs that really sort of spoke to me and really helped me through that time of okay you know you're not alone it's it's okay there's other people there for you and it, it's just I don't think people get what it's like being in a fandom unless you're in one like people look at you and think why do you follow this band around it's just it's just it's there's no way to explain it it's just you have you do it if you're a fan and you like a band and they've helped you through a lot you feel like to repay them you go to their tours you go and meet them and it's not only a great experience for us as fans it's great for the boys because they get to see the people that they make the music for and they say it's like worthwhile for the fans because they get to meet us and see like you know put faces to the names of the fans and stuff which is great so that was a Above the Noise tour. The next tour that I went to was the Memory Lane tour, which is like the last McFly tour that I've actually been to because then they sort of took the hiatus thing. Um, so I went to that and it was kind of like spontaneous. Like I would not had tickets to the tour and I remember my mum ringing up and seeing if there was any sort of spare tickets and they said that they did have some like returns. So we managed to get tickets on the night of the tour, which was great. So it was kind of like I didn't have to sort of wait until like, you know, so many days. It was like, right, we've got tickets, we're going tonight, sort of thing. Um, so we went there and it was like at my local, like, not the arena, but we have this um, city hall place and it was there, which is like a little bit of a smaller venue, like a little theatre type place. And that was so good. Like, I think that venue helped because it's got like bottom seating, but then it's got like stalls at the top seat. Wherever you're sat, you can see really well because it's quite a small venue. So that was like the last tour that I've been on. I did have tickets for the anthology tour and then they changed the dates of it. And because I work in a school, I couldn't get the dates off to go to Manchester for two days. So I had to sell those tickets and it's still, <laughs> I'm still gutted about it today. Like really, I'm still gutted about it. Um, but it's just one of those things like that's the, like, yes, my job allows me to have long holidays, but I can't just book time off whenever. So it's just one of those things that I have to live with if I want to do this that job and I know there was going to be another tour um, eventually. So that's sort of like my background of McFly, sort of like how they've helped me through my teenage years and like how I discovered them and things like that. Um, so now I'm going to go on to like the little more like, you know, harder stuff to talk about. So back in 2013, I got into my first relationship and when you get into your first relationship you're like oh I feel like I'm gonna be with this person forever and it sounds cringy but I think that's what a lot of people think um obviously not with the person now I'm not gonna sit here and bash my exes it's not it's not what my video is about it's just it's relevant to the video um in a minute so then it, in 2014 we obviously the relationship ended and it really sort of affected me even though I was the one that ended the relationship it still affected me because it was my first relationship and I never felt this sort of like feeling of a breakup before and thinking you know I had this person now they're not there type thing and it was just a bit of a rubbish time and I remember McFly had now gone into the McBusted area like of their um McBusted area McBusted um time of their career I'm sorry if this triggers any of the fans but it's it's something that needs to be spoke about because it's relevant and yeah they were and I remember they were doing a tour at some point but they would their film no, they'd done the tour. I'd been to the tour. Can't even get like the time in I'd been to the tour with my ex. Gone to um and then they said they were making a film of the tour, the McBusted film, um, like live at the O2. So I was like, right, well I need to get tickets for this. So got my ticket. It was at the View Cinemas only. Luckily I had a local View Cinema 
and this is where I meet my friend Cheryl who you've seen loads of times in the vlogs uh, don't worry I've asked that I can talk about this in the video and she says it's completely fine um this is where I met Cheryl for the first time we sat next to each other in the cinema and got chatting and yeah it's just a weird way of meeting somebody but it was it was great to meet another person that had the same band as the favorite so yeah um watch the film and then my friend Amy and Lee's I'm sure Amy won't mind me putting her name in in this video um messaged me and said no they've turned up at the cinema where we are and I was like what do you mean so she was sat with McBusted in the cinema and then she said that they're doing a radio tour the next day and coming to Sheffield so you need to be able to like find some time to meet them so I obviously took up this opportunity because I was like when am I ever going to meet the boys again this could be the, the only time that I meet them and I was feeling really crappy after everything that had gone off in my breakup and stuff I was like right this is the pick me up that I need and I remember I was looking where it was and I was like I can never get there because at the time I didn't drive so I was like I can never get there on the bus and my dad was like right I'll take you and he took me all the way to a radio Hallam I think it was and there was only like a small group of people like you'd expect for a band like these to have like a massive group of people waiting and from what I'd seen on social media the other places had more people but I think it's because in the Sheffield area they didn't know where the radio was it was kind of like hidden like it wasn't it's not very well seen from the road um so I think that's probably one of the reasons why there wasn't a lot of people there and there must have been about 20 of us and then they turned up and it was great we could just go around and talk to the boys they had so much time because there wasn't a lot of us so we spoke to them this was the first time that I'd seen Dougie in person and I think I'd just like lost my mind and I got them to sign my radio at the, my room on a third floor CD I got photos I'm going to try and put some photos up on screen while I'm talking so you can just sort of see some of the photos I have done a video on this anyway um, you can go and find that somewhere if you want and it was like the best day and I feel like it's this is number one of like one of the reasons why McFly have sort of helped me through life as I was going through a rubbish time feeling absolutely like the worst I've ever felt and McFly announced they were doing like a meet up at the radio tours and I that was the first time ever that I've thought wow it's kind of like fate in a way it's kind of like they're like they know things are going wrong and they're here to help even though that sounds stupid that's just how I see it so that was the first time when I met McBusted um, at the radio tour and like got pictures with them all and I was like little shy little old me I was only like 20 at the time so it was a good six years ago um, but my McBuster vlog, vlog is like my most viewed video on this channel so I'm sure you've seen it if you're a regular viewer of this channel so that was 2014 so then we sort of fast forward a bit like you know McFly took a little bit of a, a hiatus and they made one McBusted album we'd not really heard much else there was obviously Tom and Dougie's book tours and um, Harry's book tour they sort of went quiet so obviously 2017 I got into my relationship that I'm now long, no longer in 2017 fast forward to like 2019 when my relationship ended which is like the worst the worst feeling I, I've said I felt bad in the last one but this one was so bad because obviously it was a long relationship this one just sort of messed me up I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna beat around the bush there were days that I didn't want to get up in the morning there were days when I thought I'm just gonna drive off a cliff and I'm not saying that like you know exaggerating that is generally how I felt and I just thought I mean I've got no job at the time I'd had to move back home to my parents house I just felt there was no point in anything and I, I spoke to Cheryl every single night on video chat for a good four months which she didn't have to do but I think you know being the person that she is she would rather me sit there ranting crying than me not being there and in this video I'm going to say a massive thank you I've already obviously said thank you loads of times but I'm still going to say it now that I owe Cheryl so much because of that because it was just a massive thing for her to do and obviously all my friends I'm not saying that my friend other friends didn't do a good job but all my other friends obviously gave me so much support and my family and even people on Twitter that didn't know me sent me loads of messages and stuff the amount of messages I got was overwhelming I didn't expect that many messages and I feel like it helped me get through what was such a horrible time in my life like a really horrible time it was just it, like getting over somebody that you think you're gonna marry 
I don't recommend like <laughs> getting into relationships unless you know they're like the right person and I suppose you don't expect these things to happen but it's just yeah I had to you know I had to go and speak to somebody I had to get myself sorted basically but yeah um so during that time when I was feeling like the worst McFly then announced that they were going to release the Lost Songs which were songs that they'd made back in like 2010 for album six but never released that was the moment where I thought well I can't you know I've got to be here now McFly are releasing songs every Sunday so they gave they actually gave me a reason to enjoy my life a little bit and actually have something to look forward to because there was just at the point at that time there was literally nothing to look forward to I wasn't working wasn't with anybody like back at home felt like the you know felt like I wanted to die and then McFly came out of nowhere and it's just like I know it's just the timing and it's just happened to be at that point but for me it just still felt like that the, um, the band that I've been following for years they are still showing me why I follow them and why they are my favourite band because no other band time stuff like that it's just weird how it's happened like no other band has done it like if maybe if another band had done it at the same time then I'd be like oh maybe it's just a coincidence but this is something different this is like some sort of sign or something that this is this is like needs to happen this this is my favorite band and this shows so that was the second time so and it really like the songs really helped and during that time I also went to meet Dougie on his book tour for Plastic Sucks and that was like the real like there's also a massive pick me up for what I needed I couldn't have even like told you how that made me feel because I, on that vlog you can clearly see that I'm not really my like my you know my perked up self because I'd just come out of a relationship I was having like the worst time but I thought I can't miss Dougie's book tour I'd already bought the the tick the wristband and the ticket and stuff before all this had happened so my mum obviously came with me as you've seen she's like filmed a few bits for it and things and I actually it was the first time I managed to speak to Dougie because I've met him twice before um, and I've never really been able to say anything and I actually managed to say like thank you for releasing these songs because I'm going through a really bad time and it's just really helped and he was really pleased to hear that and he said he was glad that he, the, the band could help and me being able to say that to my favourite member of a band was like everything like I managed to get things off my chest and tell him what I was going through and I've never been able to speak to him because it's just every time I see him I'm just like speechless but yeah and I got a hug off him and that really really helped like just so things like that really really just help you through it and I feel like if you're a, mem a, a member of a fandom and you're going through a hard time like yeah you like have that be grateful for that and use it to your advantage and also know that it does get better like I am a different person to what I was like coming up to a year ago I am a s back to myself I sorted myself out I know what I want in life and I'm not going to take like you know crap off people it's just not I'm not here for that I'm just I'm past that and I feel like if anybody is going through that time I know that people on Twitter have reached out to me and I've reached out to other people that have been suffering through break breakups and things I feel like that helps too like even if you don't know the person even if the person doesn't reply if they read that message and they think oh that's really helped me then you've done something right like I know how much it helped me which is why I've reached out to people online because I know how much it helps so that's another bit of advice is just help people and give support you know girls helping girls type of things or even if you see a lad going through it message them as well not that I've seen any boys going through that um I think girls obviously react differently I feel like I've just rambled this whole video <laughs> wow um so yeah there was that and then also they then announced their tour which clearly has not happened yet because of covid it was meant to happen in May it's been moved to October but I feel like that's also going to be moved but it hasn't been moved yet so as of now it's still October they announced their tour and that was another reason like to 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 stay sort of like as part of the world which sounds really dramatic but I again felt went through a time where I didn't want to be here so I, and then I thought why do I not want to be here when I've got a band that 
do so much for the fans and surprise surprises all the time and do things when I'm feeling crappy and it's like they're looking down and they think right here's time to like drop some news that is just like yeah I'm sorry if I can't get my words out or I've said the same thing it's kind of I've never made these sort of videos before I feel like it's going to help so many people and yeah it's just a bit weird but yeah they announced their tour so my good friend um helped me get the tickets and then I also paid him for the tickets and so me and Cheryl will be going to that tour and I will be vlogging the tour because I've got to aren't I it's McFly I don't think I've, McF I've vlogged just a McFly show so it's, it's gonna it's gonna be there when it eventually happens so I think I think that's everything that I want to say um I have been so scared like I said to film this video just because I feel like people might think I'm doing it for views or anything like that I'm not I'm really not I'd have a lot of people that follow this channel that like McFly for a start so I thought instead of doing like the same sort of game videos and things like that I could do something for people that are more interested in that side of thing I also want it to help people I want to say that it gets better like if you're going through a rough time mentally or um then it, it honestly it does get better and I know it does it feels like it's gonna go on forever that's how I felt like I cried myself to sleep for six months I had the worst dreams I've ever experienced like I am a person that gets lucid dreams so the dreams feel like it's actually real so you don't want that when you've broken up when with somebody or they've broken up with you and all you can see is them in your dream and it feels like you're with them like, that is what I went through for six months like I, every single night it was it was horrible I just decided that I didn't want to put myself through that every day I, but I am completely like fine now I want to make that so clear to people that it's got better for me I managed to get a job I have met so many good friends this end of last year and this year because of the support that I've received I'm just a lot happier I feel ready to move on into a new relationship if it happens yeah so that, that's it really I don't want to keep rambling but that's how I feel um, I'm not going to sit here and say please subscribe to my channel that's not what this video is about it's about the awareness and helping people through something so I don't I don't mind if it doesn't get loads of views or likes or comments I just want it to be up here for someone to come and watch and have a bit of advice given to them and a little bit of a a chill sort of chat so yeah I hope I hope you liked the video I know it's a bit of a deep chat but I thought it was the perfect time to talk about it, especially with McFly releasing a new single this month. It was just very apt. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's everything that I want to say. Um, I hope everybody's keeping safe still. And I will see you in the next video, hopefully a little bit cheerier than this one. Bye.